Yo, what's good, gang? You know, it's been a couple of days since, you know, dropped a video. But I got some more stuff coming for y'all. Um, this one is going to be a first 48 video. I don't think I did one of these before. So if y'all enjoy this content, go ahead and drop a like, drop a comment on the video. Um, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. Appreciate that. So you know when I'm dropping another reaction. But we're going to get straight into this one. First 48. Put my mingles on the phone. It's the first 48. But we're going to get straight into it. Forget it. Forget it. Part 48. Listen, why would somebody specifically mm -hmm. put you near that victim when he was killed? Honestly, I, I really don't know. That wasn't over there. Getting a suspect to talk like can be the most difficult part of a homicide investigation. For these New Orleans detectives, it may be Are they in New Orleans? Oh, you know they could be out there popping each other and shit. Bop, 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 bop. All this stuff that you're feeding us right now is a bunch of bull. Ooh. Yes. He was with you up until the point he was killed. You saw the whole thing. Oh, shit. They said she saw the whole thing. So we're heading uptown. For all gathered, there is a male victim shot to death in broad daylight behind a church, which is pretty brazen, even for New Orleans. Usually a, a church, you know, represents a safe place, place of worship. All right, so homie was shot behind a church. So I guess the victim was shot behind a church. Um, the interrogation looks like it was about a month after the fact of this happening. Uh, like they said, you know, people don't usually get popped up, got popped off in, out of church and shit. So, you know, it's kind of rare, like Mr. Clint with hair. The victim was where this brick is at. Just was a little thing of blood here in the grass. He was hit four times in the head. Four times at the back and three times over here. Damn. Like Four times in the head? Oof. Right now, we don't have much to go on. There had to be people out here in the neighborhood that saw this, or at least saw maybe someone run from the scene, saw something. It's very Four important times to find in the head. Four times in the head, they wanted him dead, bro. That's that's a fact. Four times in the head, they wanted that man dead. I ain't even gonna cap on that. We need one right now. And then New Orleans, boy, it'd be dangerous out Detectives there. Detectives speak with neighbors and get a lead. The witness said the victim was walking with the female. Ah, oh, shit. She seen them coming, walking up the, up the street. And when they got to the church, they turned into the alley. Moments later, gunshots erupted behind the church. Oh, yeah, she set him up. Oh, she set bro up. And the witness saw the woman flee with a different man. Oh, yeah, she, oh, shit. Oh, shit, she set this man up. I could tell already she done set him up. So she's walking with the victim. They go behind the church. Seconds later, shots ring out, and she runs from behind the church with another dude. Nine times out of 10, that's the shooter. 10 times out of 10, that's probably the shooter. I want to find out who this girl is. Maybe I can get her and break her and then maybe... And women be setting niggas up for on. real, for real. That's why I keep my ass at home. Ain't got time for these little fast-ass body bodies and shit. It's like a shock. I still don't believe it. I know my son. I'm not going to picture him as a perfect person. He had problems in the past. He never been in jail, but he has a beautiful heart. He wouldn't deserve to die like that. He was somebody's child. He was my child. Damn, that's all, all bad. So that's his mama. At least the mom was willing to admit she know her son did some wrong and he ain't no saint. Most of these parents try to act like they kid a saint and shit. Out here doing stupid shit in these streets, killing, shooting shit up. And 
Oh, they come home. Hi, mom. Him to that church. You want to ignore the fact that they got pistols and shit all in their Instagram and Facebook? Oh, and... His lady is. Come on, man. She know everything. Acting on a tip from the family, the team tracks down the mystery woman. 21-year-old Janisha Taylor. Oh, dog. So she only 21, so she young, bro. She young, so you young and getting caught up in some shit. Damn, and look like that's a jail photo if I ain't mistaken. So you done did a little bit of time there. already. I really don't know that wasn't over there. When he was with you, up until the point he was killed, you saw the whole thing. She ain't gonna, hey, hey, oh, hey. Hey, the cop that's interrogating her, she is not gonna let this shit ride. I'm gonna be honest. She not gonna let this shit ride. She, she going for that, she going for the book. She gonna get the truth for real. You can tell her she yelling at her like she her mama. Detectives need Janisha to give up the Yeah, Janisha, tell us this what happened. Right Look at him. He deserved it. No, you didn't. But it's either I'm gonna be in prison for this or I'm gonna be the next one on this paper. <laughs> God. I mean, let's be honest, what the hell is life? So basically, you saying if you tell, you gonna get killed. How are we supposed to help if we don't get the information? Y'all think she gonna give up the shooter? We we halfway in. Y'all think she gonna give up the shooter? I think she gonna give up the shooter. I think she gonna snitch because she, she don't want to get shot. And you know, in the hood, the hood gonna retaliate, especially if you talk to them boys. On the day that he was killed, did you talk to him? Yes. He called me and told me that he had something for us to smoke. We're walking past the church, and I'm like, okay, let's go right here. We can roll the weed right here. Janisha says she and Rodney walked into the alley behind the church. When we got back there, the guy came and actually shot him in front of me. <laughs> And when he pointed the gun at me, he was like, bitch, you say anything, you're like, and he knows me. And he knows me. He knows everything about me. Bro, you set that nigga up. You just admitted that you know the shooter. You just admitted that you know the shooter. That's why the cops are giving him face. Like, you know who killed this man. You know who did it. And you are scared to admit it. She's snitching. She's gonna snitch. Oh yeah, you you're admitting everything right she now. She says the suspect is her heroin dealer. What's his name? Slugger. 33-year-old Ron O'Neill Hickman, aka Slugger, lives down the street from the crime scene. Mm -hmm. Told y'all she was gonna she snitch. Slugger is the shooter. So I'm we'll gonna get somebody to show her a lineup of Slugger. If Janisha can't pick Slugger from a lineup, detectives can't charge him with the murder. Because she could be this name dropping at that point. You feel me? They want a face with a name. Since you said he did it, I want the face. Since you said you was right in front of him and you saw him and you know him and he know you, who did it? Point him out. 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 It's a choice that you have to make, dog. We'll be right back. <laughs> For sure, she said he's in there, but I'm scared as to what's gonna happen to me when I identify. Do y'all think she really scared for her life or she just don't want to snitch in general? Cause you know, at this point, they know she was there. They got to point her out. She got to point the killer out. You know what I mean? I think she she knows more than what she's putting on. She gonna tell the whole truth and nothing but the is, truth. If it ends right now, I don't see we have enough to get that shooter. Let's see if we can pull her over that edge to at least ID in first. Rob is so smooth. He's the nice guy. I say go let him play that angle. So they basically got to get her to confess to everything in order to arrest him. The setup, 
how it went down, how it was planned, all that. What to do about what? About giving up the guy who killed him. Here's a situation we have, okay? Understand you're afraid. We have witnesses that saw you leave with this person after the murder happened. That's when you get yourself caught up. She says she went to Slugger's house after the shooting. Okay. When y'all got to their house, when? I went to the bathroom. I was crying. Just gave this around with. Mm -hmm. And I, I shot my hand in the bathroom. And he gave me a few dollars just to go away with. <laughs> Right. You tried to cope with the pain away with the with the heroin high. How long have you been buying for Slugger? It's tough. You, you've been victimized for a long time now by this guy. He's not even here in this room, he's controlling you. Do you want to throw your life away with this guy? No. That's you all bad. Like your heroin dealer committed a murder. Situation. And then after he did it, y'all went back to his house and got high. And then he sent you on your way because you were in so shock. She was in so much shock. He got her high and then sent her on her way. Damn slugger. I think she about to rat on your ass, boy. She gonna rat a Thule on your ass because you up the Thule on him. Okay. Tell me who you recognize. What's his name? She just ID slugger. We got ID. Yeah, I knew she was nice. nice. Helps, you know. She was in that room, balling her ass off. You knew she was telling. She's a heroin addict. She told me that she's been on heroin since she was 15 years old. She just made 21. You know, she's been through a lot, but I believe she has more involvement in it than she's actually letting on. I think she set him up. She he suggested they go behind the church to smoke, so mm -hmm. it's just too much of a coincidence. Too many coincidences. That, coincidence, that part. Back of the church waiting for her and the victim to come back. There. That part. Jonisha Taylor pled guilty to manslaughter and accessory to second degree murder. She was sentenced to 20 years. That's all I have to see because that is well deserved, rightfully deserved, because she set that man up. Like the mama said, her son didn't have, she knew her son was a bad person and wasn't doing good. And he'd had his little dirt, but he didn't have to go out like that. And the way he went out, it was more so of a, they did it for a quick dollar if he had anything on him. And that was pretty much it and left them back there to die or if it was some personal beef. Let's see what else happens. God damn, man. Four days later. Ron O'Neill Slugger Hickman pled guilty to manslaughter and was sentenced to 30 years. Rightfully deserved. Rightfully deserved. He's basically going to spend the rest of his life in prison. He's already spent years in prison, so he's he's done. The reason you took that man's life is probably stupid. I wonder if he says it. Well deserved, because at the end you dirty, fucking dingy ass jeans. You look like you do fucking drugs, like just dirty. Ooh, I feel good about doing something for Rodney and his family and getting them Real shit. The justice that they Real shit. deserve. That's what we work for. Real shit. That's what you do. You do they do their job to solve crimes like that. When stupid ass, careless, heartless motherfuckers like those two take a man's life for no true reason at all. Um, rest in peace to him. Those two are gonna spend the next 20 to 30 years in prison. You know, that was stupid as fuck. As hell.
But if y'all enjoyed this video, y'all go ahead and tap in. Be sure to like this video, share this video, drop a comment, all that good stuff. Catch y'all on the next one. This your boy Weasel, and we out this thing. Yee!